Hi, this is the Mitsubishi, U8, uh, Mitsubishi A6M20 um, for, by Tamiya, 148 scale. Okay, can go ahead and uh, open the box up. And pretty simple kit here, uh, not a whole lot of parts, shouldn't take too long to build. Uh, we'll start off with the canopies here. Canopies seem to be okay. You can see, pretty clear. Okay, no uh, flash on the canopies. Um, it does look a little plasticky um, as far as what I can see from my angle. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit more. Uh, let's probably, in the light on certain parts, you can see that it's plastic, okay? Um, so I'm gonna polish that up, see if I can get a uh, more of a glass look. Um, if not, then that's how it's going to stay. Okay. Let's zoom back out. And, alright, let me put this back in here. Um, the bags, or the sprues, seem to be coming in. Um, one sprue in one bag, and looks like two sprues in another. Uh, this part of the front engine cover area. Okay. And then detail is pretty good on the uh, Tamiya kit here. Okay, uh, nice uh, recessed panel lines. Uh, a little bit of some uh, uh, riveting holes here. One thing about the riveting holes on this kit is that it is they are very fine. Okay, so if you uh, put too much um, primer in there. Uh, surface primer, um, you may have some problems with uh, covering those up, so you have to be very careful. I'm just going to do a very light primer on this, since the riveting holes are very shallow, it seems like, and very small. So I'm going to do a light primer, and then I'm going to do the paint. I'm not going to uh, do uh, more than one coat on this, I just want to give it a good layover, even if I don't get the entire surface area covered. Um, just lightly is what I want so all right but that's the uh, wing area there the uh, landing gear uh, housing area here seems to be nicely detailed okay so you can see there detailed okay so you probably don't have to do a lot in there one thing I noticed about the um, if you look into the, some of the sites um, on Google if you Google the uh, you know, like the uh, the doors and stuff like that, and inside here, it is a metallic blue here. There's two different types of colors. Um, there is a lighter metallic blue, and then there is a darker metallic blue. I'm going with the Arctic um, metallic blue that uh, Model Masters makes. I, I bought one blue that is uh, Mr. Hobby, and uh, that seems to be more of a glittery kind of look. Um, it, the um, the paint isn't that fine. The pigment isn't that fine, or the metallic. Uh, metallic flakes in there aren't fine enough to um, you know that it looks good it's just, it just really looks like glitter so I'm going to go with the um, uh, the Model Masters uh, Arctic Blue okay and then I bought the um, uh, Mr. Color or Mr. Hobby it's the uh, gray green color this uh, aircraft isn't all white or off white it's a gray green color okay so I'll just put that aside and then we have the fuselage here. Fuselage. Okay, and the wheels, fuel tank, uh, landing gear, uh, parts of the, well, the, I think this is where the engine may be the part of the uh, cockpit area. Not sure, antenna. Okay, pretty simple. Um, just some uh, ejector pin markings on the doors here, the uh, landing gear doors. Now they give you two um, two different uh, choices here. That you can have either the landing gear down or the landing gear up. Uh, that's one thing um, that I like about this kit. Uh, I'm probably gonna keep the landing gear up. I wanted to do a certain, um, I wanted to do a uh, P40, uh, uh, a P40, um, you know, on a stick and then the uh, uh, Mitsubishi Zero down below and then with some smoke coming off of it um, it's more like cotton and then kind of kind of doing a 
um, like an orange, uh, red, white, and then a black, which would be like the flames coming off the uh, wings, uh, like it was being shot at, and then making little tiny holes on the aircraft with the uh, drill bit uh, heated up to make it look like the uh, bullet holes hitting the aircraft. But I really don't have any place to put it, so I'm just going to scratch that idea, and I'm just going to build a kit. And then once it's done, it's just going to be put away. So it's just a hobby. So and that's what it is. Um, and since it's not going anywhere, um, any type of shows or anything like that, so why put in all that effort and all that work? It would be cool to see, but um, yeah, I'm not sure. I, I might do it, I might not. I don't know, I'm not sure yet. Still debating. Okay, here's the uh, top of the wings here. Okay. Let me zoom in, zoom in. Clear that up. See if I can get some more detail. So you can see there, there's the detail. Recess panel lines, pretty, looking pretty good, not bad. Okay, he has some of the detail here on the uh, arrow lines here. Okay, and then in the back, I guess these would be the elevators here on the horizontal stabilizers. Okay, uh, try and clear that up. Then there's the uh, two pilots, you get one to stand outside the aircraft and one to sit down inside the cockpit. There's the uh, engine area here, the props, okay, inside the cockpit area, okay, you can see cockpit, uh, sorry about that, there's a cockpit area there, okay, and then that's it. So, pretty simple kit, not a whole lot going on, shouldn't take too long to build. Okay, and uh, uh, we'll go into the instruction manual here. Here's the instruction manual. Okay, so they give you all the paint colors you're gonna need. So since this is a Tamiya kit, they give you the Tamiya paint uh, numbers here that you're gonna need off in the top here. And then it's all um, there's a lot of colors in here, <laughs> X2, X4, X7, you know, XF71, so there's quite a bit of paint that you're going to need. Mainly those paints are going to be for the, uh, the pilot here, um, but I mean, pretty much it's all drab, green, black, and a few other colors, um, but if you really want to get into doing it right, then you're going to need all these colors. Hopefully for me, I have most of these colors already, if not all of them, so I won't have any problem. Uh, with this aircraft and if I don't have all the uh, Tamiya paints I have some of the colors in the Model Masters and uh, Tester's paints uh, some in the uh, Mr. Hobby and Vallejo paints as well okay so that's the first part that you start off cockpit and the pilot and then you go ahead and do the engine fuel tanks fuselage comes together uh, with the cockpit inside then you put the uh, uh, horizontal stabilizers and the wings come together the landing gear goes together Okay, so like I said, you got the two different choices to make here on the uh, landing gear, which is down or uh, up. Okay, in a dirty position. And then you put the, do the props, uh, do the uh, canopy, the, uh, what is it here, the wind, I forget. Oh well. And then you go ahead and do the decals, and then do your painting. They give you two different choices of uh, paints. I think this is a uh, green here. And then the other one is the uh, the gray green. Okay, let me go ahead and make sure. Uh, I think it's a deep green, and then a gray green, if I believe it is, or dark green, one of those. Uh, all right, and then the decals. I have yet to see a kit that has the uh, the rising sun, the uh, the flag with the. Uh, the sunbeams and the sun, um, that's one I haven't seen yet. I, I, I have seen them on aircraft during World War II, um, you know, on some of the history uh, photos and stuff like that, history books, you know, you see them on some of the aircraft. Not a whole lot of aircraft, most of the time you have the red sun, and then that's it with the red sun by itself or the white stripe around it. But this is the, uh, the decals here. Okay, they do give you the decals for the cockpit, which isn't too great. Isn't too bad. Um, if you want to buy the uh, photo etch, go ahead. But for this uh, kit, I don't think I'm going to need it because once I finish building it, it's going in a box and then it's going in the attic. Like I said, it's just a hobby. Expensive hobby. 
but um, it's fun for me. I like putting things together, so there it is. So I think they give you about four choices here <laughs> on uh, which uh, which squadron or fighter wing or air group you want to build. So I think um, I think there's four. So so you have uh, plenty of choices there. Okay. One nice thing they give in this kit is a photo of the two different aircraft here. Okay. As you can see there. Like I said, there's the green, and then there is the gray green. So, and then they have the different colors in the props as well. Okay, antenna here. And that's pretty cool. I thought it was pretty cool. So if you have a nice hobby room somewhere to put that, you know, you can frame it and put it in your hobby room. That's pretty cool. I like that they, they did that. I wish some of the kits would um, throw in some pictures like that. It's pretty nice. Little added touch there. So, and that is the uh, Tamiya kit. The Mitsubishi A6M2 Zero. Okay, easy kit to build. Um, I think if you wanted a little bit more detail and if you like really working on stuff, I think uh, you might want another kit. But if you want something simple to do um, in a month, maybe less, maybe two months, I don't know, it just depends on how often you uh, build your kit or how much time you spend on it. Um, you know, this would be a great kit if you didn't want to spend too much time. But uh, I think uh, Edward or um, some of the other higher end kits um, you might want to consider if you like a lot of detail and putting a lot of stuff inside the aircraft that you're never ever going to see anyway. <laughs> so, but there it is. There is the uh, Mitsubishi A6M2 by Tamiya.